Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I will show you how to use picker view as input for UI text field. We will do it in Xcode 11 and Swift 5. As a side note, this tutorial should work with Xcode 10 and Swift 4. This is a sample project which I already created. So here I have a text field and you click on it, you get a bunch of options and you pick one Text is displayed on the text field and picker view just hides, dismisses itself. So really easy, let's get started. Here I have my Xcode open, I'll create a new Xcode project and uh, it will be a single view app and hit next. Product name will be picker view, let's say awesome picker view, awesome picker view. Uh, make sure you don't name it just plain picker view or something because there is a chance it will clash with uh, Swift libraries. So just add something like along with the picker view. Uh, so uh, just make sure language is Swift, user interface is storyboard, hit next and uh, create wherever you like. I will create under recording. And the first thing first, drag and drop the text field on the, and change this to iPhone 11 and add our text field. So here, let me expand this and give some constraints to the text field. So first left will be 30, right will be 30 and bottom will be 350 and height will be 34. Just add four constraints and here we got it. So next thing, connect this to our view controller. So control drag, this will be our country text field and hit connect and uh, so we are done with the storyboard part let's close this and close this uh, command shift so command shift oh this will bring up this uh, open quickly or something and you will type view controller so just easier you don't need to grab your mouse and waste time uh, I already copied my uh, constant like this is an array of countries next thing is picker view so we will create a picker view is equal to UI picker view, this one, and don't forget the parentheses and get rid of this. First, let's assign picker view delegate will be self and picker view data source will be self. Uh, next thing, uh, we will assign this picker view as input to our text field. So country text field dot input view is equal to picker view really easy this error is just because we don't uh, we still don't have the protocols but next is that and so we'll create first extension of our view controller and we will uh, confirm to two protocols so first is picker view delegate and picker view data source and curly braces so this should go away uh, in order to conform to UI picker view data source protocol, we need one method, which is number of rows and components, but we need three more. So let's add the first one is number of components, and this will be just one. And here, number of rows and components will be our countries count. So countries is again our video, our constant with countries as a string. Next thing we need is title for our title for each row. So this is title for row and this will be this is really simple which is countries and and brackets and here we will just pass in the row. This row comes from here and let's run and test it and let the swift do its magic and let's see how it looks. So let me this is our tester close this and this is iPhone 11. So we see our text field in three, two, and one here. So click on it and pick our view appears. And here we have our options, but we stole, oh, we still don't see the text on the text field and pick our view is still there. So let's, uh, we need one method from a UI pick view delegate, which is did select. So did select, uh, pick our view did select. And here we will say, first we will, add uh, 
get the text from the picker view and assign it to our text field. So first country text field dot text equal to uh, let's say countries. Uh, again, this is our variable and we'll pass in the row which comes from here. So basically like Swift knows which row you selected easier to code. And next thing we need to do is we need to dismiss our picker view. So this will be country text field dot uh, dismiss. Let's type resign first responder. I got it. So let's test the app. I think I'm forgetting something, but let's see what it is. So, okay, picker view appears and you select the text and it appears. Okay, the thing we miss is let's put it, in, uh, put the text in the center. So go back to the Xcode, pretty simple. This will be country text field dot text alignment and this will be dot center. And there are a bunch of options. You can like just suit yourself. Uh, I like center. So let me run the app for one last time. And here we have, we see a bunch of options. Let me select India and bam, we got it. So if you have any questions or if you have some problem with the instructions, don't hesitate to ask question in the comments. If you like my video, thumbs up and subscribe for future videos. Until next time.